Congratulations, you've just been offered a teaching job. I'm Alan Scott, Assistant Superintendent for Human Resource Services with the Scambia County School District. Uh, you've made it through the interview process, uh, you've competed, you have won a position, now you've been offered a job. I want to tell you some of the things you can get ready for uh, when you come in to any school district and you have to complete a paperwork. And yes, there is a lot of paperwork that you're going to have to complete, a lot of things that we have to do in human resources in order to process you through. One of the first things that you're going to have to do when you come in, uh, you're going to come in, turn in your paperwork, they're going to send you down for a drug screen. Now you would think that most individuals would know that that's going to happen. Uh, the state of Florida, drug-free workforce all the way through I believe every state in the nation is similarly situated that they have a drug-free work environment what is amazing to me especially in the position that I sit in as an assistant superintendent we have individuals that just spent four years in college they passed all their teacher certification exams they've gone through the interview process they have won that coveted teaching job they come into our office one of the first things that we hand them is a form to go down and get a drug test. You have one hour to go get that drug test complete. That's it. What is amazing to me is the number of young people that fail that drug test. When you fail that drug test, you know what that means? You can never work in the education profession in Escambia County School District for the rest of your life. It's one of those things that's gonna, happen, gonna occur. You need to be ready for that and you need to know that that is gonna occur. Uh, as soon as the employment process begins. Something that we do in Escambia County School District that I know a lot of school districts in the state of Florida and across the country are also doing is we now have a tobacco screening. We are a uh, workforce that we do not hire anybody that uses tobacco products. Uh, when you come in, you get the drug screen form, you're also going to have to sign an affidavit that says that you have been tobacco free for at least six months. When you go down for that drug test, it is also going to be a tobacco test. Um, we post it on the website. We post it on our school websites. When you come in for the interview process, you are told that you're going to have to sign the affidavit. And again, even this week, we had an individual that came in, uh, went through the entire process, got a teaching job, came in. Yesterday, I got a thing on my desk that we had a teacher that failed the tobacco test. Now the difference with a tobacco test in Escambia County School District and the drug test, if you fail the drug test for a controlled substance, you can never work in this school district. If you fail the tobacco screening, you cannot apply, you cannot work or apply for a job within one year of the date. You know, because our goal is with a tobacco that you have one year to get in some type of sensation program to help you quit using tobacco products. So those are two things that you're going to have to do, the tobacco test and the drug test, as soon as you come in. The other thing that we are going to do is we are going to take your fingerprints. We are going to do a full FDLE, that's Florida Department of Law Enforcement, and a full FBI background check. Um, in the state of Florida, and I think every state in the country is also going to be similarly situated, that they are going to have to do a background check. If you're in the state of Florida and you want to know the things that are going to be screened for, you can look at Florida Statute 435.04 and Florida Statute 1012.315. 435.04 is the Jessica Lunsford Act, 1012.315 uh, is Ethics and Education Act. We will have a complete screening process where your background will be checked. If you have a conviction under those statutes, that is considered a disqualifying offense, which means you cannot hold any job in the state of Florida that is education related. So those are just some of the things that you need to know about. You know, especially if you're early in your college career, you need to understand that the choices and things that you do now could have an effect on you, specifically when you get ready to go into a field like education. Education is considered a position of trust. Another thing a lot of people don't realize is you have to fill out an affidavit when you come into work for us, it's a background where you have to list if you've ever been convicted um, of a serious offense other than a minor traffic uh, violation, if you ever had to do community service, if you ever had to pay a fine in a criminal proceeding, 
Um, you know, a lot of young people will come in and check no on those things, even though their offense may have been a very minor, a petty larceny offense, that is not a disqualifier, but the fact that when we did the background check and took their fingerprints, that they weren't honest on the pre-employment form, means we withdraw the employment offer. So you need to be honest when you fill those forms out. Another thing you need to consider if you're applying for a position of trust, a job in education, is that in the state of Florida, when you apply for a position with us, even sealed and expunged records are open to us. I have a lot of young people that'll come in that'll check no on a lot of these arrests, and it says very clearly in three different places on our online application where you have to sign your name and put your initials. We let individuals know up front, sealed and expunged records also have to be listed. Some of them have even gotten some advice um, uh, from legal counsel that said they didn't have to put that information down, and that may be true for most employers, but it's not true in the field of education if you are applying for a position of trust. Even sealed and expunged records are open to us. And that's the thing about filling these forms out. When you're feeling, filling out these employment forms, if you don't understand something or you're confused by something, stop and ask questions. Even if you need to stop and take that uh, to an attorney, to your legal counsel, to get some guidance. That is the best advice that I can give you. Be honest and for, uh, forthcoming on all of your applications and um, you, can, you can successfully make it through the process.